Some of the most world-changing battles and conflicts of World War II took place throughout Micronesia, the Philippine Sea, and the Mariana Islands. On December 31st, 1941, Chester Nimitz took over as commander of the U.S. Pacific Fleet during World War II. Earlier that month, the Japanese Navy attacked Pearl Harbor, severely disabling the country's Pacific naval fleet. The enemy would also invade and occupy the island of Guam and the Marianas. With the Japanese military quickly expanding its reach and hostile takeover of land and seas west of Hawaii, the U.S. needed to counter the attacks. Nimitz was tapped for the task. A proven Navy man, he was regarded as one of the most experienced submariners in the fleet during the First World War. He served as commander of several warships for two decades, and he would prove himself once again as one of the greatest tactical minds whose experience in planning and strategy would help to win the war in the Pacific. His leadership skills developed a Pacific force that would rival and defeat the enemy. U.S. forces regained Pacific territory in the Marshall, Wake, Midway, Solomon Islands, and the Marianas, and finally the islands of Palau, before moving on to Philippines and on to the final push to defeat Japan. Join us as we walk through the history of a war that changed the world 75 years ago. In the coming months, we will honor and pay tribute to those who lived and suffered through the war and those who died. We will hear stories of bravery and resilience and of the legacy that has come from it. <laughs>